by 8.6%, while general dealers contracted by 5.7%. While the latest retail sales number could in part explain the following, an increase, increasing number of consumers are seeking help as they struggle with their finances. According to Financial Counselling Service Debt Busters Debt Index for the second quarter, debt counselling inquiries rose by 17% when compared to the second quarter of last year. This as consumers navigate the higher cost of living and other financial challenges. Well, to unpack the report for us, I'm joined by Bene Sega. He's the CEO at Debt busters. Thank you very much, Bene, for joining us. A rise of 17% in debt council inquiries. This clearly suggests that consumers are under pressure. Yeah, un unfortunately, that has been the case for the last several years, as you know. And I think, uh, as you mentioned, the rise in inflation and interest rates hasn't really helped the situation this year in particular. And I think what we are seeing now is, especially on the back of the most recent successive interest rate increases, um, consumers are not getting um, salary increases in the meantime. And I think they're really feeling the squeeze. So when we look at the debt index for debt busters, we normally compare the incoming cohort of consumers who apply to debt counseling during the second quarter of this year, which is between April and June, and compare to previous years. And what we've seen is that the debt levels haven't really increased substantially compared to last year, but they are much higher than they were a few years ago. On the contrary, the salaries are basically flat and more or less the same. And when you factor in inflation, particularly in the last 12 months, consumers are basically left with somewhere between 30 to 34 percent less money when they go home every month. And I think it's really making it very difficult for the South African consumer. Yeah, very dramatic indeed. So what sort of assistance do debt counsellors like yourselves offer? And typically, how long would it take to regularise people's financial situation? Yeah, debt counselling is a is a, a process that is uh, governed by the National Credit Act, and uh, it is a process that it essentially works with the consumer based on how much the consumer can afford to pay back on a monthly basis, and works with all the creditors they owe money to to restructure the debt. Uh, repayments in such a way that it's affordable for the consumer. And as a result of this, it's not a short process. It takes normally somewhere between two to five years, depends on how much the consumer can pay back on a monthly basis and how much debt and what type of debt they, they have. So it's not a quick process. And uh, you know, what we always tell consumers is it's taken you generally a while to get into debt trouble, and it's going to take you a while to get out of debt trouble. However, the immense relief is that the debt repayments on a monthly basis uh, are lowered significantly. And going forward, often is the case that interest rates can also be lowered on the loans that consumers owe money to. And all of this is done, again, under the auspices of the National Credit Act. So it's a very regulated process. So for consumers who are feeling the pinch in terms of debt repayments, taking up a higher portion of their take-home pay, it probably is one of the best solutions the country has to offer. Yeah. Given the picture that you paint, you know, of the pinch that consumers are feeling, you know, sometimes there's uh, um, a, a level of shame that's associated with not being able to manage your finances. What would you say to perhaps people who are watching who are in that situation, but they're almost embarrassed because they feel, you know, shame that they haven't managed to be on top of their finances? Why is it important for them to get a handle of it? It's, it's a very common feeling, as you say, and correctly so, especially, you know, in our country, not many people speak about money, not many people speak to each other about the debt in particular. And the thing is, you started on this journey borrowing money and the credit was good. And at some point you faced some difficulty that was out of your control. There's no shame in that because most of us, especially given the last two to three years, the difficulties that pretty much every consumer has faced, one should not feel ashamed. Having said that, I do understand that it is a very personal thing. So what we normally do is work with consumers in a confidential way, um, telephonically often, to basically make sure that their questions are answered. And that, you know, often consumers, when they feel when they're faced with a difficult situation like this, they react one of three ways. One is they ignore the problem uh, and, you know, they hope that it will go away. It's not a good outcome. Secondly, they freeze and they don't know what to do. And I think often this is the shame part that you're talking about. And three, they, they take action. And we really would like more consumers to be in the third bucket and take action uh, to correct the course. So going forward, I mean, with everything that we know, you know, the Russia-Ukraine conflict and uh, 
other places in the world registering double-digit inflation. Do you think that this is going to be a continued uh, saga, you know, higher inflation, or do you see us getting to the peak, which might then mean a sort of uh, a more an easier time for consumers going forward, even though we're still in, in an interest rate hiking cycle? Yeah, it's a difficult one to answer because so much of the inflation is uh, that we feel in South Africa, it does not generate, uh, it's, not, it's not initiated in South Africa, as you correctly say. A lot of it is driven by petrol price that is, uh, you know, international. Some of it is fueled by our own electricity price hikes. Um, but consumers will probably continue to feel the, the pinch of inflation for another six months or so. And I think same with interest rates. They will continue to increase. Now, in the meantime, what will happen is there will be more pressure on salaries and, and the like. So I think what we're expecting for the rest of this year, and again, going into early next year, will be that the pressure on, uh, you know, interest rates will continue, whereas the pressure on inflation will probably ease towards the end of this year. And I think if we go back to what debt counselling is good for, it's getting a handle on those interest rates, in often cases working with creditors to reduce the going forward interest rate. So from that perspective, it's probably the best long-term solution that the consumers has. Mm. Benet, thank you very much for your time, sir. That was Benet Sega. He's the CEO at Debt Busters. The national wool producers say the suspension of movement of 